In this lesson, I'm going to share with you all the cool ways that you can have Zimwriter automatically find YouTube videos and bring them into your article as YouTube embeds to boost your page on time. And then I'll also show you a cool way that you can repurpose existing YouTube videos into blog post articles. Let me show you how it works. So I have this article. We had Zimwriter write five tricks to get a second date. Here's the first H2, master the art of engaging conversation. And here is the video that Zimwriter found, how to never run out of things to say keep the conversation flowing, very relevant to the subheading and to the article as a whole. How did we do that? In the bulk writer, there's a button called YouTube videos. We press it and you'll see this checkbox right here. All you have to do is check that box, assuming you have a Scrapeal account and YouTube videos will then be enabled. You can select up to three YouTube videos. The first video is inserted at your first subheading. If you select two, then the first video is at the first subheading, the second video is at the third subheading. And if you select three, you'll get a video, video, and then video. And they take priority over AI images. So if you pick AI images and YouTube videos, you'll get an, a YouTube video in the spot in place of a, an AI image. So just keep that in mind. So this button that works inside of the bulk writer, it's also available in the Penny Arcade, works the same way. And it's also available in the SEO writer. Let's scroll down a little bit, YouTube videos. So those are three ways that you can automatically have a YouTube video found and then inserted it at the, the first subheading, the third subheading, and or the fifth subheading. Now, maybe you want the YouTube videos inserted at different places at maybe the second subheading, or maybe you have some H3s that you're creating inside of the SEO writer and you want a, a YouTube video for that one. Can you do that? You can. So there's actually a tag, a curly brackets, YT, closing curly brackets, and that will cause a YouTube video to appear right there. Now you might also be using a custom outline. We haven't talked about custom outlines in this video series yet, but that's also a place for you to use YouTube uh, videos. So let's go to custom outlines. Oh, I gotta turn this off. And then we'll pull up a custom outline where I have one saved. So recipes, and you'll see history, right? We have this YouTube variable right here, this YT in brackets. It's hard, hard to see on the screen, but it's in there. You can read more about the custom outlines and, and how you can use the YouTube variable by clicking on that directions link in the custom outline area and then scrolling down and it will talk about this YouTube variable and where you can use it. So that's how you can have Zimwriter automatically find relevant YouTube videos and then bring them into your article. Now, the next thing you can do with YouTube videos is actually go to a YouTube video URL and then write an article based on that. So I found this YouTube video here, North Korea fire shells towards South border Island. And we had Zimwriter create a summary using the Penny Arcade. So I just took the URL for the video. I put it in here. I configured some options and I said, go write the article. And then here is the article we got. So we use some AI images, North Korea's provocative artillery shelling raises tensions. And then here's the article we got. We, and now this is like an inception moment right here. This video, is not the video we just summarized and then wrote an article based on. This is the video that Zimwriter found that's relevant to this particular title right here. So wrap your head around that inception moment right there. Because what you can do is you can have Zimwriter write an article based on a YouTube video that goes to the video, summarizes the transcript, writes an article based on the summary, but then you can enable the YouTube video box. And now you're gonna insert a YouTube video into the article. It's a mind explosion right there. And you can also see, I scrolled, I, I, this is one of the AI images. I love these like little North Korean soldiers, <laughs> and these little baby tanks. Absolutely love it. You can actually see the summary too, if you want to. You can, I don't want to get too deep into the woods. You can do a magic command, summarize equal, and then summarize the YouTube video. And there's actually a cache that stores the previous summaries. So we've already summarized this video. Watch this, hit control one. It, it just pulls it from the memory. But here's the summary. This is the summary that the AI used to then write this article. Mind explosion right now, especially if you have a situation where you have 100 personal videos that you created yourself on YouTube that would do great as actual blog posts. You can do that now with AI images and pulling YouTube videos and all kinds of cool stuff. Really powerful things now. I'm excited about it. I hope you're excited about it. If you have any questions, drop a comment down below. Join the Facebook group. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next lesson.